So for lab 3 of COE 428, you have to implement this metric source file they give you to see how many copies, comparisons, and swaps your algorithm makes for some set of data. So to do this, uh, it uses three functions you have to use in your implementation of insertion sort and merge sort. They're called my copy, my swap, and my compare. If you want to take a look at them, just open them up using Vim, and then uh, give the path to the metrics.c source file. So once you're in here, uh, you can see that this is how the my compare function works. It takes two integers, um, and it returns the difference of the first one from the second one. So if you do my compare of a and b, if it returns something less than zero, then a is less than b. And if you pass it b and c, and they're equal, then this is going to return a value of zero. Moving on, my swap lets you swap the values of two variables you give it, but you have to give it the memory addresses of those variables. Okay. Uh, my copy will copy whatever is at the memory address of the first argument to whatever is at the memory address of the second argument. And that's all there really is to it, to use those. So. This right here summarizes how you would use these functions from the metrics file. Whenever you would want to assign the value of array sub 2 into the variable x, instead say my copy and then pass the address of x and the address of array 2. These are equivalent functionally. Whenever you'd want to swap the contents of two things around, you can just run it with this one command, this one function, my swap. And if you need to compare if a is less than b, that's the same as saying if my compare of a and b is less than 0. Also, it's worth noting that uh, you're not really supposed to use these functions in your loop checking. So, for example, if you were to say, so if you were to say for i equals zero, i is less than three increment i, you wouldn't replace this with my compare i3 is less than zero. You wouldn't use the functions in this way. The point of the functions is to see how many times you move around data. That's as far and in depth as you want to go with your algorithm analysis for this. The other useful thing to know about this lab is uh, the way that you're supposed to give it input data is not the same as you've been doing for the last two labs. So for the first two labs, uh, you would just say, you know, insertion sort 2, 1, 3, and it would sort 2, 1, 3. But if you try to run insertion sort in this lab, the way they have it set up, um, and you just, you know, don't do anything else. Uh, it's just going to hang here. If you say insertion sort and any number of arguments, uh, it tells you that you're supposed to use it with no additional command line arguments. So what do you do? So what you have to do is you have to basically pipe the input. So what you have to do is you have to create your own text files of input data and sort of feed it into the insertion sort command. So let me show you an example of what I mean here. So let's create a new test file. Let's say vim test file 1.txt. Let's try uh, the best case for insertion sort with eight inputs. Okay, so 
Now, let's try insertion sort. And then this less than sign. And then we'll give it test file 1.txt. And that will work. Again, um, if you want to try and do this, you would say vim. And then the name of the file. Oh. You want to create txt then you'd be here if you just press keys on your keyboard right now you won't start typing you have to press i to go into insert mode you'll see insert mode in the corner here so let's say we want to try the worst case for insertion sort and with only eight inputs big so we'll say seven six five four three two one zero then to get out of insert mode you press escape and then you press colon and then you press w, you say wq which means write the changes to the file and quit out of vim so now you say insertion sort the name of the file you want to create.txt and it's going to hopefully sort it correctly and it will tell you how many copies and comparisons and swaps you did along the way hope that helps